Hello fellow adventurers and welcome back to Clock Tower. Now we just got ending H for Helene, which was turned out to be the bad ending. So we have got to decline this guy's offer and we're gonna go down the no path. Thank you for the offering, Mr. Sullivan. But Mr. Sullivan at the library may have it. If he doesn't, I'll give you a call. Okay, no problem. Just let me know as soon as you need me. Right, so does that mean the old man won't die now? So we probably saved the old man's life by going down this route. I still think it's really stupid, though. And we got that ending. We had information. We had something we could have used. Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan in? Mr. Sullivan is now in the head librarian's office. <laughs> I see. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, this is just the same thing again. See, this is uh, from playing too many RPGs. Usually, if you talk to someone a second time, they got something new to say. Or the only way to progress the story is to say something new. Talk about RPGs. I've been playing for a great one for when I was a kid recently. Star Ocean, till the end of time. Now, that had a really weird plot twist into it, and a lot of people absolutely hated it. I actually think it was a really good twist. If you played the game, you'll know what I mean. But a lot of people think it kind of ruined it. It's great. If you're into RPGs, play it. Hmm. I missed out on what he said there. Is Kay with you? No, she isn't. Oh. Let's go for this way. Creepy clocks ticking. Creepy clock towers. I'm starting to see a connection here, guys. I'm joining the dots. Equilibrium is approaching. Yeah, here we go. I am sure this is Mr. Sullivan's office. Ooh, let's go in here. Let's check out what the principal science has to say. Here we go. Hello, Helene. It has been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Sullivan? I've heard about what happened to you. How terrible. Yes. By the way, Mr. Sullivan. Yes, I have heard. There is something you would like to research. I will give you a key to the reading room so you can use the reference materials as you please. The reading room is right next door. Oh, and look out for Kakarot. The statue? Oh, yes, that's it. Professor Barton left it with me. Please, come pick it up on your way out. Thank you very much, Mr. Sullivan. Okay, to the reading room. I'm always on the lookout now for potential hiding places. This game has trained me that pretty much anywhere I go, the scissor man can pop up. So I've got to be looking for which room leads to where. And what I can use it for. Oh, cool, I still have my pliers and my flashlight. Not sure what the flashlight is for, but... I'm sure it's going to come in handy at some point. Into the darkness of the reading room. The reading room. There are many valuable works here. Only available to the university personnel. I just hope there is something here that will explain the man scissor. What have we got here then? It doesn't seem to be in this area. I wish she already instantly knows what she's looking for. No, it's none of these. I can instantly tell. A step ladder. Is it for napping? What have we got here? This is a book I've been wanting to read for a long time, but this is hardly a good time. Oh, I see a little air ventilation shaft down there. I'm going to get the click clack clack of the sism. Uh, is that the same book from before? Yep, 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 that's the same book. <laughs>
every single time I look at it, it just says stack labyrinth for napping. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I take it back. Lords of Northern England, this is it. I clicked on the step ladder like five times. Oh, I thought she was going to be dead. Excuse me, but the library will be closing shortly. Oh, I see. <sighs> and we're just going to lock up the doors of you in here. I found a clue about Simon. I still have to pick up the statue. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, quick save time. Strange, the clock is chiming. Uh, hello. Oh, bloody hell, I get too old for this shit. Oh, Mr. Sullivan. Helen. It seems the bells of the giant clock are broken. I think I will go have a look. Well, I will go with you. Thank you, please follow me. Oh. Uh, hasn't been working great. I wonder if someone has been messing with it. Well, I knew something bad was going to happen the second he said, let's blow up to the clock tower, but... Wow. Got a bit of a head of himself there. I can see why he's the head of the library. Pick up the statue. Oh, crap. Where am I going to hide? Oh, haha! <laughs> Sorry to lamp this on you. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, shine some light on the situation. Damn, Edward's voice is heard from upstairs. That's Edward's voice. He can't still be here. Oh, of course we'd have to go save the little kid. Helen? That's Edward's voice. It's coming from inside that room. He went in here once, and it didn't go well for us. So I'm starting to think that if we go in here a second time, it's not going to go Edward. well for us. Edward. Oh. Uh-oh. 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 No! Fudge nipples. Da, 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 da. I wonder what happens if we go back in the room. Oh, okay. He's gone. What happens if I check in here? Oh, okay. <laughs> the room's locked. I was talking about this with so like Richie. Is the Scissorman an SCP? Because he can seem to teleport. It's like he definitely has more powers than what he lets on to have. It's not just his scissor stuff. Yeah. That whole thing that happened with that mask as well. Is that there's a lot of voodoo juju going on here. And we're going to get to the bottom of it. We're going to find out what's going on here. And we're going to solve this mystery once Edward. and for all. Me and you. Edward. Right. Now... Uh, if I go... Okay, let's try going the other way. Let's try going the other way. Screw that kid. I don't really care about him. Please don't tell me they've been stupid and they've locked us in. Oh, clock's ticking. Oh! She is very dead. She's the library clerk I just saw. Oh! Run, Forrest, run! Gots? Gots? Why'd you say gots? Oh, 
Oh yeah, we can call him. Uh oh. Ooh. Is this gonna be another bad end? <laughs> I wish she's kneeling over just kind of like in an execution pose. I have accepted my fate. Oh. 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 I think we're home free. Whew. That was a ten three seconds there. We got it. Yay! Fun times for everyone. And the door's locked. I've been locked in. I've... Who locked the door? The librarian was dead. The scissorman. The scissorman, of course. Because the scissorman can. Let's get out of it. Ah, yes, today's movie recommendation is The Punisher. I watched it last night, and it is a awesome revenge story. The Punisher. <coughs> Oh, what's that? Ugh. Throwing my mouth a little bit there. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, that was not a nice feeling. Don't take anything from that. The Punisher doesn't make you want to be sick. <laughs> the Punisher is uh, one of Marvel's uh, yeah, old-time heroes. And it's very strange for a Marvel hero because he's incredibly dark. He, go he goes around and he kind of tortures and kills like these dudes that did very bad things to him. Very, very bad things. So if you want a revenge story, go for that. The acting is a little bit corny at parts. But it is a Marvel film. It's going to be a little bit corny. And I don't think Stan Lee's in it. I didn't spot him, but I just might have missed him. A clerical desk in perfect order. Oh, but everyone has gone home. Well, not the librarian and Mr. Sullivan, that's for sure. They won't be going home for a long time. There's nothing that seems useful. Over here? What you got for me? Everything seems normal here. It's been like a favourite phrase when she just can't think of anything else. It's like, yep. No nuclear weapons in the shelves. <laughs> just finds a nuke and is like, no, Helen, you'll kill absolutely everyone in the entire city. <laughs> yeah, but kill Sism and <laughs> uh, Do the old Resident Evil style. Got a problem? Just nuke it. There are some forms and loan cards on the table. Nothing else here? Nothing at all. Okay, I'm going to quick save this. What's out this way? What mysteries await us? Got? She keeps saying gots whenever we walk into this room. Have we got to try call him? The computer from the from managing the library. Hope it's networked to the outside. <laughs> I'm not going to check, I just hope it is. <laughs> See, it's no wonder she thought all was lost after um, Gots managed to get that crucial evidence. It's like she doesn't even bother. It's like, oh, yeah, you know, we know where to go now, but, uh Just sit around and get killed by Scissorman. A plant, it doesn't seem useful. Oh, damn, I was hoping it's green herbs. There's nothing behind here. We know the door is locked. Do we have to go upstairs to where that little kid is? So I think that's some kind of event I'm meant to do something on, but I keep on dying. Okay, maybe we've been pressing the wrong button for like those push events all this time. Well, that's been moved now. It's flatter than... A flat thing. There are so many people here. Remo so many people, my ass. There were you, the head librarian, the little kid, and Mr. Sullivan. That's like, what, four people? There are red stains on these books. Blood? That's spaghetti sauce. Sorry about that. I was eating my spaghetti in the library. I don't have time to read these books. Oh, Harry Potter. 
Lord of the Rings. And it was some Marvel comics. I'm more of a DC person, personally. There are many encyclopedias. Okay. Nothing of use here. That was a good talk. Right. So that's the reading room. I've already been in there and I think I found everything useful. <laughs> it might be. I'm going to have to go up to see this thing. Okay, I'm going to make a quick save here, and even if I have to do this a million times, I'm going to find out if this is doable. Yeah. <laughs> Douchebag rope. Oh, yes, I did it. Okay, I was pressing square and away from him, so to the right. I don't know which one of them did it, though, so I think it might be square. When in doubt, hope square's about... Oh crap, is there anything in here? We already used a lamp in there. I doubt there's anything else in that room. Each room tends to have one thing. Step ladder? Seriously, that's your plan? Well, okay, it's not the one I would have gone for, but... Oh, okay, that was her plan. I thought she was going to try hide behind that. That would have been silly. Okay, now we've got to go back up there and check that room. I'm going to quick save that. Nicely done. Progress. I'm still trying to learn to whistle. I haven't quite got it yet. Exit. Alright, what's up here other than that douchebaggy rope? First time I've actually had a chance to check it out. Now at the end of the first game, they actually defeat him by playing bells. The operation something is written on it. You've discovered hint seven. The operation panel of a giant clock is covered with rust. Hmm. I think that was it. We just had to come up here to discover a hint. I think they're all gonna add up and eventually they're gonna help us out massively later in the game. I think it would change our ending. Okay, my line of thinking now is that we check Sullivan's office again. There's likely a statue down there. We have to take the statue and there might also be a key. We can't get to his body because for some reason it's just plain disappeared. Maybe Scissor Man takes some strings up like marionette dolls. He plays with them. So no, just a trash can. A computer. A personal computer, the image of Mr. Sutherland struggling, struggling amateurishly at the keyboard comes to mind. <laughs> He's an amateur. He'll never be elite nine gagger at this rate. What's in here? There are many books about archaeology on the shelf. Some of them were written by Mr. Sullivan. Is that any of the statues up there? <sighs> okay. My line of thought is we need to get the key to get into that room. Envelopes and dogs raised into multiple personnel on the desk. The sender of these envelopes is Professor Barton. I really shouldn't look inside. I wonder if there's anything else. Do look inside. Do. You could probably save us a lot of hassle. Oh, a key is inside of the drawer. You now have the collection room key. I'm sure the collection room is in the back. Let's do this and quick save. Now I can enter the collection room. I like to narrate everything I'm doing. Quite possibly because I'm insane. The collection room is where Mr. Sullivan keeps the artifacts he dug up in Egypt and other places of which he is very proud and none of them are totally cursed. Mr. Sullivan has shown you this room many times. This time it's pitch dark inside. Didn't there used to be an aquarium here? I could use the light from it. Ah, thank you for that. That saved me about five hours of clicking on everything in the room. Thank goodness the power is on here. Alright, let's check down here. 
It's a quite a nice little lighting effect. Come on, see Deus Ex. The statue is together with the other artifacts. Thank goodness, there it is. You now have the statue. Since I have what I came for, now all I have to do is find a way out. Okay, we have the collection. Is there anything on here? Many are said, look at them. Would turn not deal a green with envy. Table leg. Do we have to turn the table leg 90 degrees to make the fountain spray blood so that we can then get the green gen to open up the door, which can then be used to open up the basement. Then we have to turn the statue 90 degrees. And then shoot all the eyes out of the paintings. How are all these giant stone statues carried in here? Again with the stone statues. I would guess with a crane and a bunch of strong... Can, can you stop looking at the statue? Um, I think I've checked every single other room. Yeah, I think I just have to leave now. No need to turn off that light. Yeah, I'm just going to make like a tree and leaf. Go, go. Yeah, okay, it's letting us leave. That means we've probably done everything we need to do in here. Got the statue. Question is, how do we get out of the door? Hmm. Quick save. Right. There's nothing upstairs. I'm going to check out this room again. The entrance is barred up. Maybe it's mine. Might be a key or something. I mean, the fact that he chased us back here. I mean, there was a vent over there, so maybe we shine the flashlight into it now. There'll be a key down there. Is that what I'm thinking? Because usually the rooms it makes you revisit in order to do something to the scissor man, you have to go back to. I mean, that's horror 101. If a monster chases you out of a room, always try and go back there. Ah, a vent. If it only were a little brighter, I might get through. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> I am a jamius. If only it were a little brighter, I might... Yeah, that's why I've got the flashlight. I don't have time to read these books! <laughs> Uh-oh. Where's he coming from? Where's he coming from? Oh, he's coming from here! Uh, this is the only place I can go! It's the only place I can go! Oh, what the hell? Whoa, what the hell? How? Well, damn. Um, into the aquarium. That's the only room that I haven't lost him in yet. Oh, boy. Okay, maybe I can break the aquarium glass. Uh, push the big rock over. Uh, hide under one of the table? Shit. There, 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 there. Oh, sweet! I've actually got a sword! <laughs> yeah, Omni Slash! <laughs> well, I better drop it. I've got all the use I can out of that. Right. Still actually no closer to figuring out what I have to do next. But it tries to chase us out of the library, so logically... I'm going to go get the library again. And if not, my second guess is the aquarium. Oh, we're going to get through this. Consider this series a guide as well. <laughs> the encyclopedias. Like, I have any idea what I'm doing.
Alright. Oh, we can actually leave through that door now. Okay, cool. He's definitely got powers, because there's no way he could have physically have been out there and then suddenly got inside. Got? Keep on saying got, he's not here. I got no clue what you're talking about. It's been locked in. I've been locked in even. Is that a fuse box? Oh no, it's just that. Okay, um... That door. That's my last line of thinking. Okay. Through there? No, that's just the computer. <laughs> well, try it. See if it's networked. Oh, okay, cool. Somewhere we haven't actually been yet. Excuse me. Spooked. Hello? Edward, Edward, I thought you'd still be here. Well, what the? Oh, okay, he was hiding. It's dangerous here. Come with me. Okay. Edward, you hide under this table until I call you. <laughs> be a good boy, and don't worry, yeah. we'll make it. How's that under the table bit lead to Narnia? Because he just straight out disappeared from existence. Look, he's not there. You can see the back of the table. Well, maybe you can use the flashlight. Yeah, now I should be able to use the flashlight. A vent. <laughs> it's covered with wire screen, fastened with screws. That's it. Edward could fit through. He's small. <laughs> if I could just get the screen off. Who's the pliers? Pliers? You could probably pull, like, basic screws off of pliers. Event. It's covered of. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna have to go find a screwdriver. Uh, where am I gonna find a screwdriver? This isn't lead anywhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> A police car siren is heard. Someone must have called the police. Oh, thank God. Come on, guys. The door can't be opened from the front. Many policemen are swarming around outside looking for a way in. There are so many people. Just on the other side of the door. Ah, oh, come on, open. I've been locked in. Ah. Okay, well, good. Someone actually calls the uh, called the popo. Okay, let's sit this down here. Can we use the computers now? Nope. Hope it isn't now to the outside. This room. I'm literally just trying anything by this point, guys. I'm just pressing on absolutely anything that might have anything of value in it. There's got to be something evil and treacherous hiding among the shadows to which we must cleanse. Or something like that. I don't know, man. I'm just trying to play Clock Tower. Wonder if there's something useful in here. A screwdriver is in one of the drawers. You now have the screwdriver. Yay! Yay. Guys, let's do this. Gotta be very quiet because we're in the library. Quick and take the screwdriver. 
I'm gonna unscrew that. Oh, that's lovely. Edward, come out from there and come over here. Edward, you can probably squeeze through here to the outside. Hurry, run away from here. Okay, I will. Um, I'd want to try crawl through there as well. I think I could make it. All I've got to do is cut my legs off. It's a small price to pay. Okay, so we saved the kid. Yay! So, now we need to find a way to save ourselves. Maybe the police have busted through the front door. That's my best hope. That, I'm thinking maybe up to the clock tower again. Let's try the front door. I should imagine the Sisman's just made a run for it. Yep, it's doing it automatically. Oh. Hey! Hey, Teach, what's going on? Teach, hang in there. He has more of a sort of Brooklyn accent than I expected. Yeah, hang in there, Teach. Well, awesome scenario two cleared. And I think that's the perfect place to end that episode. Now, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. We're going to continue with scenario three afterwards. And whoever you are, whatever you're doing, you're awesome, and thank you for watching. Bye!